Welcome to the seventh NView Composer tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to format your home page or your index page with a nested table so that it's ready to place information that we're going to call our site description and about the creator sections for this project. So let's go ahead and open NView. We have it open here, and in the last tutorial, we learned how to connect our site to the site manager, so now it's easy access for all of our uh, files here. So let's go ahead and open our index.html just by double clicking on that. And now we have our template page that we had made in previous tutorials. It has our links here for projects of my choice. It has our bottom global navigation bar across the bottom here. And now we have our page area. As you can see here, I clicked inside this cell and the cursor is blinking right here in the middle. And that's going to be the first thing we need to take care of. We're going to move this cursor up here towards the top and also in the center of this cell. Not of the whole page, but of just this cell. So to do that, you want to right click anywhere inside of this cell and select table cell properties right here underneath the shortcut menu that comes up. In this dialog box, again, you can change cells or table. We're going to change cells. Under cells, we want to go over here to content alignment and check both the vertical and horizontal boxes. And we're going to set vertical to top and set our horizontal alignment to center. And then we're going to select OK. And now when we click here, our cursor has moved from this position to this position where we want it. Now we're able to put in our nested table. And a nested table is a table with inside of another table. And we do this to, to get ultimate uh, control of our content without the user actually knowing that we're manipulating the space uh, of where our content goes. Uh, to do this, we want to go up to the top here and just go to table and we can select insert a table. And once we do that, we can select how many rows, columns, uh, whatever format we want of our table. For this index one, we're going to have you put in a one column, that's right here, three row table. And you're going to do that by just selecting here. Now that our table has been inserted, we want to format this correctly. So to format this table, we're just going to double click inside of it. And again, this brings up the table properties. And this time, we don't want cells. We're going to actually format the table. So we want to make that switch here so we're under the table tab. Once you're under the table tab, we need to change the width of this table to 600 pixels. So we're going to go over here to width and type in 600. And again, make sure this says pixels and not percent. Uh, we want to get rid of the border. We won't want anyone seeing a border around this. And we're also going to get rid of the cell spacing. Again, that's the spacing around or between each cell. We're going to keep the cell padding at 2 so that our content is pushed away from the edge of the cells just uh, a little bit. And we're also going to do something that kind of seems repetitive, but we're going to change the table alignment to center as well. So not only do we have the content of this uh, cell set to center, but also the table itself to make sure that it stays inside the center of this cell. And then we're going to hit OK. And now you should have a table that looks uh, just like this. And again, now we can, uh, we're able to format this inside of our, our existing content area page. We're going to go right up here to the top. And under each top, you're going to notice the trend of us putting in the title of the page. That's so we don't get confused as to what page the person is on. It will make it easier to navigate our site and understand where we are at any given moment. And for this one, we need to put in our page name. And this is going to be our COM201 homepage. And after you have that typed in, we can select our text, and we're going to give it some formatting. Uh, Enview makes it pretty easy to go in and format your text. And you can see some, some different options here. You have some uh, on your different formatting toolbars. And they have... Uh, regular uh, ta HTML tags that you can go in and select. And for instance, I can select Heading 1. And you'll notice here that Heading 1 has a specific format to it in which it enlarges the size, uh, kind of spacing around it is a little different. Uh, and you can kind of go through. And Heading 1 is the largest, and you can kind of go through Heading 2, 3, 4, uh, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and select Heading 1. Once we have Heading 1 selected, we can go down to our next part. And in this next part, I'm going to have you guys put in your site description. This is the part of the assignment that can be referenced in Moodle for uh, further explanation as far as what you're supposed to put in here. But basically just a general overview of how to navigate this site 
and also uh, a base description on how you created this site will be in this part. So I'm going to have you put in or type in site description and then hit enter two times. Now we can select here for site description and we're going to go up again to the formatting toolbar and we're going to select this time heading 2. And now this is formatted here with this being our title of our page, this being here for our title of this block. And then here you can insert your text and you can uh, then change the size if you want to increase it a little bit. I won't go any uh, larger. Uh, in fact, I'd probably stay smaller than this title right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put in uh, now space for you to put in your last part for the home page and that's the about the creator section. The about the creator section is basically going to be a three to four pa uh, paragraph essay. It introduces yourself, provides a little background, your education, career aspirations, and, and uh, also how technology has influenced your life. Uh, we want to put in that title here, we're going to put in again about the creator and then we want to select this text here, just highlighting it, going up to the formatting toolbar and we're going to select Heading 2 again. Uh, and then I'm going to go in next to it, and I'm going to hit Enter as well. And now we have that same break that we have up here, we have here as well. And then you can go ahead and put your content. I'd suggest drafting your content in a word processing program such as Microsoft Word or OpenOffice or even a Google Doc document and then copy and pasting it into here. Uh, that will not cause any problems for you. And you can always format your text. If you go up here to format, you can select text style, uh, sizing. There's a bunch of different options that you have at your disposal here. Okay, that concludes this tutorial on creating or formatting your index page. Uh, make sure that you save and you'll see this disk icon uh, disappear. I'm going to hit Control S. You can also hit File and Save. Uh, and good luck and moving on to your next tutorial.